of our divine mother from the book the mother from the collective works of our divine mother volume 14 page 23 topic the ways of working of the lord our divine mother says the divine grace is wonderful and almighty and the ways of working of the lord are full of a delightful sense of humor be always ready to receive the divine for he may visit you at any moment and if sometimes he makes you wait at the appointed meeting place there is certainly no reason for you yourself to be late It is quite evident that for some reason or other or maybe for no reason at all the supreme has changed his mind about it the supreme must have changed his decision in order to try your faith and see if it depended on such an external thing the supreme must have changed his decision in order to try your faith and see if it depended on such an external thing surely the divine like everybody else has a right to change his mind if we want to have conversations with god of course within us is it possible if yes on what condition is the question for this our divine mother says god does not indulge in conversation question does god ever become angry with us if yes when for this our divine mother says when you believe he is angry question if we shed tears for god does he ever shed a tear for us for this our divine mother says surely he has deep compassion for you but his eyes are not of the kind that shed tears our divine mother says it may be that the divine doesn't see things in the same way as humans do a sudden show may be very useful for sadhana according to the law of man the guilty ought to be punished but there is a law more imperative than the human law it is the divine law the law of compassion and mercy it is because of this law that the world is able to endure and progress towards truth and love question sweet mother does the divine punish injustice is it possible at all for him to punish anybody for this a divine mother says the divine does not see things as men do and has no need to punish or reward each and every action carries in itself its fruit and its consequences according to the nature of the action it brings you near to the divine or takes you away from him and that is the supreme consequence human beings are capable of withdrawing from the divine and they often do it but for the divine to withdraw from human beings that is impossible if the supreme consciousness got angry over the defects of men humanity would long since have ceased to be next question sweet mother why was not man created good from the beginning for this our divine mother says it is not god who made man wicked it is man who makes himself wicked by separating himself from god let me repeat our divine mother says it is not god who made man wicked it is man who makes himself wicked by separating himself from god the divine may very well lean down towards you but to understand him rightly you must come up to him to understand the divine we must have no more preferences 
to understand the divine one must become the divine next topic the path of yoga a divine mother says the mountain path leads into two directions upward and downward and all depends on what we put behind us life is a perpetual choice between truth and falsehood light and darkness progress and regression the ascent towards the heights or fall into the abyss it is for each one to choose freely in each one's life a moment comes when he has to choose between the path and the muddle you cannot put one foot here and one foot there if you try to you will be torn to pieces a heart that does not choose is a heart that will die you take up the spiritual path only when you feel you cannot do otherwise when the path is known it is easy to tread upon it to follow the path to the end one must be armed with a great very patient endurance on the spiritual path each step forward is a conquest and the result of a fight the road to the divine always long often dry in appearance but always abundant in its results ascension stage by stage one climbs towards the consciousness spiritual ascension fearless regular uninterrupted a divine mother says one will pass through as many stages as it is necessary to take but one will arrive the intellectual attitude comes first and practice follows little by little what is very important is to maintain very alert the will to live and to be what one knows to be the truth then it is impossible to stop and even more to fall back a divine mother says all human beings have a spiritual destiny which is near or far depending on each one's determination one must will in all sincerity all depends upon the choice of the force that you allow to make use of you as its instrument and the choice has to be made at every moment of your life it is the conflict in you between what is attached to the ordinary life and what aspires for the divine life it is up to you to choose which is the strongest in you and to act accordingly you can follow the meanderings of innumerable reincarnations or choose the steep and rapid path of intensive sadhana he who follows the steep path that climbs the heights can easily slip down into the abyss for those whose destiny is to scale the summits the least false step risk being a mortal danger the perfect path is what our divine mother says the perfect path for each one the path which leads fastest to the divine on was gold and gold and gold a torrent of golden light pouring down in an uninterrupted flow and bringing with it the consciousness that the path of the gods is a sunlit path in which difficulties lose all reality such is the path open before us if we choose to take it yoga a divine mother says sadhak is one who follows a yogic discipline sadhana is means the yogic discipline yoga is a union with the divine by extension the path which leads to this union with the divine is yoga true spirituality transforms life these are the divine words of our divine mother